community uh, is, is, is absolutely essential because businesses are as much part of a geographical community as the people who live within that community. And we, we, we lose sight of that at our, at our peril. But, it, of course, I will give them. Um, I, just, I just feel the need, uh, and I thank the Honourable Member for giving way, to defend my uh, right honourable friend, the Shadow Business Secretary. I think he's being unfairly attacked from over there. It seems to be being said that he didn't even mention business in the course of his opening speech. I, I'm one of the people on this side that does have a business background. I have a very substantial background in the IT, in the IT sector supporting manufacturing industry up and down the country. But there was a very extensive section of my honourable friend's speech where he talked about the need to, put, to do something about business rates. And there was no answer. There was no answer from the, from the Secretary of State on that point. And I think he should order. bear in mind. Order. We've got a shorter intervention. It's just all you smiling on that. I'll take that later. Mr. Deputy Speaker, thank you. Uh, I will take it that the Honourable uh, Lady misheard uh, the opening of my speech. I did not say he failed to. I said I was horrified by how little he made reference to the words business firm um, um, on this point. I'm very grateful to my I'm very grateful to my honourable friend for giving way. But the broader issue um, that he makes, uh, the broader point he makes, is absolutely right. The party opposite in the run-up to the election made absolutely no indication whatsoever that it had the faintest interest in the wealth creating business part of this country. There was the mention tax. Order, oh come on, the honourable gentleman made his speeches today. I don't need a repeat of it today. James Cleverly. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, Deputy Speaker.